In this video, we're going to be doing list 2 sum 13 in Python. The prompt is return the number, the sum of the numbers in the array, returning 0 for an empty array, except the number 13 is very unlucky, so it does not count, and numbers that come immediately after 13 also do not count. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see here, it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. So it's going to return 6. Since there's no 13, uh, that doesn't really matter. Then 1 plus 1, it's 2. And then 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, and it's 13 does not count since it's unlucky. And if there's a number after that, that also that number also would not count. Um, so we're going to do um, a while loop in this case. So we're going to do sum equals 0 to hold the value of the, the sum of the array. Then we're going to do i equals 0, so that can we can index through the while loop. So we're going to do, now we're going to do the while loop. So while i is less than len of nums, so this is going to go through uh, the entirety of the array. Um, then we're going to do if nums i double equals 13, then i plus equals 1. We're not going to add a value to sum since we don't include 13 and the value after it, which is why we also include this here. Then we're going to do an else statement, else sum equals plus equals nums bracket i in order to add the value of uh, the value of the nums of nums array. So then we're going to go out of this loop and then do i plus equals one to uh, it loop through to iterate to the next value of the of the while loop. Um, so as you can see here, uh, if it goes, if we do, if, if if a value is 13, the value of nums i is 13, then we're going to do i plus equals 1, and then break out of the loop, or break out of the if statement, and then do another i plus equals 1, which also skips the next value, which is how this program works. And if it just does the else statement, then it's just going to go to the next value like normal, after adding uh, nums i. Then we're going to break out of the while loop as well, and then we're going to just return the sum value, and this should give us all the correct answer. Thank you very much for watching.